Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Project Port Sol. So in the last video, I said that I would be pushing on update. And guess what? I'm pushing on update. The download link is in the, is in the description below. And if you have any questions, be, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Um, for now, I'm going to get into the nitty gritty beat, little details that ever, I think you may want to stay tuned for. Why? Because this is going to be important for going forwards in terms of map development. If you're not interested in map development, then just sit through and watch the video at least. Um, they're not that long. They're only like 20 to 20, 23 minutes long. I generally don't go any longer than that because after a while it just gets boring for me. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's jump into it. So you may notice. So you may notice, yes, it's nighttime. I don't really care. This is, I finished uh, all the pre preset works and let's go over some starting details. So first off, and this is very important, the starting books you're given. They're in this bundle now. Uh, you'll, they'll still be available on the table here, but a majority of the books will now be available in bundles. Let's start out with starter info. Quests, okay, here's some important information. Quests are hidden around the map in chests. Most are scattered around the island, but some are only accessible by looking in loot chests at the site of other quests. Simply explore the map and locate each chest. Um, you do not have to complete the quest in order, in numerical order, because that is simply the reference number for me to know how many quests are implemented. For basically, for any further information, you may want to save the playlist for uh, Project Portsal for Portsal MC. And um, also, if you're while you're at it, why not subscribe? Because that would uh, really help me out, and I would be able to you'd be able to keep up with the map development and other videos that I may make in the future. Um, Let's see, uh, features and cha changes and features that I've done. So changes, let's see. Well, um, I have, if we go down here, go all the way down here uh, into the underground section area, you may notice there's not a lot has gone on down here, but uh, if we go all the way to, th I'll show you some recent changes. So, First off, the first change that's been made is to this area under here. This used to be grass. Now it's not. Now it's a little, uh, I guess, a little eating area, a little secret eating area. You can find Quest 29 here. Um, I don't exactly remember myself where all the quests are located, but uh, yeah, there's just some interesting bits there. Directly from here, you can go down here, and there is a quest um, that's, that tells you to go down here. We won't go down there right now, but there is a quest that has you go down there. I have implemented a few, there's a few quests here that I'm going to briefly show and touch on. Um, shouldn't take too long, should only take like a couple minutes to go over all of this. So quests number seven and eight are here. And there is an 8-1 quest. So it's and it's, and since both of these are in the same like ge generally geographical area um, of the of in pro close proximity to one another, and then there's also challenge book here. So these two quests are best taken together. 
I'd recommend that. Um, this quest here is, let's read it for a second. Yeah, uh, this is a tower tower scaling quest. Uh, there's some decent loot there, actually. It's relatively difficult. I would advise bringing two buckets of water with you. You never really know. I'm not going to spoil why you're going to need two buckets of water, but uh, you're going to need two buckets of water. That's all I can say. Um... Briefly going over to here. This area has a couple quests. There is side quest two here. It's a very simple quest. Just get, go to a desert area, gather sand, and make it into glass bottles. Um, there's quest nine here. It has you go gather sponges. Challenge book one is here. There's also challenge book two. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, that would be spoiling a lot of content. There is a few other, there's a few quest items here. You can get it to this little archer tower. There's, there's one. Uh, challenge book four. And quest 26 is located here. Um, going over some other details. There is, um, there's a bunch of loot located everywhere. Some quests take you to different locations. So I'd recommend securing a mode of transport. Um, I'll go in a minute where the first set of armor that you can use is uh, of leveled armor that you can use is, and you can get it pretty early on. Here's quest six. You can also procure potions here if you're wanting something to take with you on your adventures. Um, Quest 18 is here, for anyone who's wondering. Uh, I'll go over uh, I'll go over each of these quests in a future episode, probably. But it's going to be uh, basically... Much of this structure with all... Like this, m much of this was built by me. I didn't have any help while building this. Um, so a lot of this is just original content made by me and I'm the sole developer of this map. So There's some decent loot there. There's book E and that's just an explanation book. It's not a quest book, it's just information. Um, There is this quest, quest number 25 is up here. You'll notice that the farther out things go, the, the, the higher number the quest is, generally speaking. Now let's go over some features that are part of this map that... Um, Really got to touch on the scale of it. The main island is partially developed. It's not going to be fully developed anytime soon. 
depending on community feedback, I may remove this end portal and the end associated. Uh, well, I'll let this explain. Yes, this is quest 11. So quest 11 isn't even a quest book. It's, it's quest 11 is located on the island. All the eyes of Ender are located on the island. And uh, yeah, so that you can basically get to the end, you can get to the end from the get go if you take quest 11. Um, and I'd almost recommend doing that because there's some very helpful farms in the end that I built, mainly just an Enderman farm that's okay, I guess. Um, and I'll go into that. In fact, let's just power up. Since we're, I have it all backed up, um, let's light this portal and go through, and I will show you what I am talking about. Okay, let's go in. Here we are, the end. Here's the end island. Uh, I don't think this needs really any explanation other than it's uh, nice what I did to it. There is a railway actually that goes out to here, and there's another railway that goes out to the end I outer islands. Anyways, let's take a little peek in here and show you what uh Yeah, this is a Enderman farm. Uh, it does its job. It does its job quite nicely. After a while, it does become a force field. Anyways, let's just... It's... Here's the method which I made it work. Uh, it's with a boat instead. Basically, the principle is very similar to the one with the minecart, but it's just using a boat instead. It's slightly more complicated than that, but it it's, it works. That's a method to suffocate anything that gets into the boat that's not supposed to. Anyways, uh, now that we're done looking at that, uh, what else is there to the map? No, this video is just me showing you around the map a little. It's not quests and stuff. There's, a, there's t far too many structures now for me to get it all into one video. So I'll probably be doing a follow-up video, which I'll also reiterate on the download link and everything um, once I get that set up. Again, I'm going to be taking a little hiatus from this map, as fun as it is to make. Uh, I'm just running out of ideas and stuff for quests, and I need some time to figure all that, figure all that out. So I'm taking a little bit of a hiatus. Um... Let's take this end gateway.
And there's not much out here other than, uh, yeah, other than a few structures. Um, I haven't explored the end thoroughly, so I don't exactly know how many end cities there are around. So I, I'd have to put this through a, a map and generator to see what... Uh, Where everything generates, which I'm not quite sure where, but uh, anyways, without the way, let's head back to the studio and I will go over the changes that more changes that have been made and upcoming changes that are being made. Yeah. Um so yeah, let's let's go do that. All right, hello, and we are back at the uh studio. Um so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And now I'm now it's time for the part of the discussion where I go into details about uh kind of figuring out what to do next. We're at 30 quests. There is one quest that I have not included, but it's at least functionally, it's implemented in terms of having an actual quest book associated with it. It does not have a current quest book associated with it, but it is the um, it is Bob Yaga's Nether Fortress, which you go raid, and that is going to be the final boss for the. Uh, it's the easiest place to get to, but it's not the easiest place to get out of alive, even with netherite, even with full netherite armor. I learned that the hard way. Um, even with fully leveled uh, netherite armor and even with a stack of golden apples, it just was not a sustainable fight. Um, so it is very difficult in terms of getting through it because you're you're faced with hordes. Of, the, the danger isn't necessarily Baba Yaga herself. She... I nerfed her a little while back. She used to be way, 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 have way, she used to have a lot, she used to be a lot bulkier health wise than she is now. Thankfully, I found the issue because it, with even Withers, couldn't kill her. And I tried blowing her up. I tried everything to kill her, honestly. She was virtually invincible, almost indestructible. So, uh, yeah. I ended up nerfing her. I still haven't gone and gotten to the point where I can actually test the, if the nerf was successful, but based basically I set the stat number to a, to an integer where it would um, wouldn't be too broken that it would cause problems. But uh, yeah, anyways, so changes that I've made are as follows: I've implemented a bunch of quests. As stated earlier in the video, I have went through and made sure that I bug tested a lot of this. I had to do a lot of bug testing with this. Um, as for Quest 29, I'd recommend that you do it at night because that's when the, the actual mechanics of the, the um, of the battle work the best. You can go in during the day. If you're wanting an easier experience, but as a developer, as the developer of the map, I'd recommend you do it at the end. At the, I'd recommend you do it around, not at midnight, but I'd recommend during the night, because that's when the spawners around there will work the best. And yes, I use spawners in place of command blocks because I like the older, more nostalgic feel of mobs that just spawn in through spawners. It makes a little bit more sense. It's easier for me because I can implement more, as many spawners as I want, really, um, and put them in strategic or not so strategic locations. And uh, yeah, now, now with that all out of the way, and with everything that in mind, click click the link down below. It's as simple as download it. Uh, put in the decryption key. Download it. Um, and extract the save file into your Minecraft Java saves folder and play. It's basically as plug and play as that can be. No mods, no plugins, just 
vanilla Minecraft at its finest. And uh, yeah, so I hope you all had a good, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and sub consider subscribing for more wonderful content. I am Zyphros, and this has been uh, a very productive recording. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. A note, this is an anecdotal note for uh, any sponsors who want to consider sponsoring me. I am on a low-end system, so any big tech sponsors who want to consider financing or otherwise supporting me by sending me, I mean, I'm looking to try out new products, new laptops, um, specifically of the gaming variety. I know it's a little expensive and I know it's a little early on in my YouTube career, but it would really help you help out if at least, um, uh, and it, I do have a sponsors, uh, stuff basically for sponsors. I do have a, a, uh, a scene set up specifically for this and uh i can i can even i can put in the uh video and stuff that you guys just send me the video that you want have it all edited in if you want i can send you my video and uh have it so you guys can edit it. anyways with that out of the way thank you all for watching and i i this is just this has been a very very long uh and tedious update and very somewhat enjoyable somewhat nerve-wracking so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one